Hello everyone, welcome to the Dragon Age Ascension slash Dragon Age Season 3 vlog of Session 4. Where do you guys want to start? Called it! Called yeah, it. yeah, we all called that we as soon as we that. watched the, the reunion session. Mm -hmm. Like we said, okay, nine, well, well, 9.43, six years, Balin six. six. Balin six. I mean, yeah. it was, you brought that up for a reason. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then so, the other thing that ticked me off, which is why I asked this in the reunion log that we did, was Kenna was the one that had the vision, and she's the guardian of my region. So yep. I thought that was another sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So then, did Balin's parents die, die, or... I guess they must have, yeah. Did Balin's parents die, die? That was one of the things that made the season two players upset is because his parents are Donic and Aveline. Um, <laughs> so... So do they know? Oh. Like, do, like, do they all know about Balin being, you know, Fire yeah. Guardian? So we talked about we talked about that. I can't unfortunately reveal that yet on, on how much the Guardians know about Balin. Okay. Um, but I think you will find out very soon. Relatively like, soon. Oh, is there going to be a flashback on that then? Well, Rose yeah, is here. Yeah, so there was a bunch of things cut. Cause, so I love how you guys pointed out in a previous vlog that every uh, PC was mentioned in the reunion except for Rousseau. And yeah. that's because Rousseau was cut out. Rousseau was cut out because um, we... they the, 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 um, the characters... as in, I'm sorry, the characters. The... Both the players actually and the guardians know that Balin is the guardian oh. of fire. They know. So whether or not they know that he ended up with Rousseau is another question. I feel like if they knew I had him, they would have just come in like, okay, give him over. <laughs> Hand him over. Hand him over. Give us the child, wipe away the debt. <laughs> well, that's the question. It's because I think Rousseau knows what that mark means. Because it's not a secret yeah. like the mark by this point the, the, the guardians are so well known it's not a secret that they have these marks that denote who they are and that they are looking for the reach the, the fire one and the fire one is marked on the right hand with a star so what uh what do you think Rousseau would do knowing that uh that the guardians might want Balin now might be time to take my boy on the lamb. <laughs> on the lamb? <laughs> what do you mean? What I don't know what that means. Uh, it would depend on how the interaction goes. Like, if it's like, okay, we appreciate you taking care of Balin, now hand him over. I don't know if Russo would be willing to do that. Mm -hmm. You made a promise. <laughs> yeah, I, I made told a Balin promise. I'd never leave. <laughs> yeah, you made a promise, so... Not to mention that, like, Balin for Russo with things that I'm not going to divulge in the vlog backstory-wise. Balin's kind of like his mental anchor at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you take Balin away, Russo would probably become a lot more unstable. <laughs> also, who would have drawn the symbol? And paint runs off after a while. Yeah. Who keeps re-upping it? Who would have painted that, do you think? <laughs> Maybe maybe someone who's a who's a painter, but uh... maybe maybe, maybe <laughs> someone who's a painter. Oh yeah. Um, who maybe, would that maybe, be? Maybe a certain Huey individual. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh would have done that. Who, who Hugh would have done that. Hugh yeah. could have done it. He's been a lot in a couple of our stories. I mean, hell, I think we Hugh has been in lots and some of our stuff. It seems. Yeah. Is this his revenge for not being romanced by any of the other <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Step over. <laughs> this, is, this is for not being romanced, damn all of you. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah. That's not, yeah. I, I feel like we all, inst as soon as it said, oh, there's a kid, and the kid is going to be six, uh, we were just like, yeah, that's, yeah, it's it's Balin. That's Balin. Balin. Yeah. Anyway. Nice connected plot. Yeah. 
Let's look at the other stuff because that really and I long. think the other thing that sold it was when he had that little zone out with the when fire. When he was watching the fire. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was, yeah. I thought that was obvious, but I just threw it in there in case it wasn't obvious enough. So <laughs> we were joking about like like uh in in session three or whenever. Yeah, session three, I think. Uh, about Tommy, like all, us all egging on Tommy to be like, hey, ask about his hand. Is there anything on yeah, his hand, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> right. Which there would have been none at the time. There would have been nothing at the time. Yes. So is it like a magic uh, paint, then I'm guessing? Or? It, it would have had to have been to have lasted yeah. this long. And then were... what made the magic dissolve? Um... Fire. Fire. Balin's guardian yeah. stuff coming out burnt it off over time yeah. honestly it's over time over it wasn't over meant time. to be a permanent thing yeah it wasn't meant to be a permanent thing but it lasted for a while um mm -hmm. and just enough that now ooh, yes that's a thing that we can end on a cliffhanger with so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so would rousseau still be willing to contact the guardians now that uh his boy that's oh boy. a good question. Well, you also know that um, you're related. You you are you have a party member who is related yeah. to one of the guardians, Rosie. Rosie, Rosie mm -hmm. and she, she's there. She's definitely she, there. Yeah. So she can see it. Oh mm -hmm. uh, no! Split the party. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we oh, just got the great. <laughs> We just got a griffin. Yeah. By the way, there's a griffin. I've been oh. hinting on griffins a, wa a while, for a while. Yeah, I noticed like they were just appearing out of nowhere. The griffin cuckoo clock, the griffin the stuffed animal. animal that yeah. I'm assuming, that I'm assuming um, uh, uh, Leon has placed right next to Tyrion's leaf. Just, just yeah. plop it. Yeah, plop the, 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 the griffin the doll. Garish, uh... Bun aside. Yeah, I mean, they're just such a, a iconic and mythological figure in the Dragon Age lore that I just didn't think anything of it. But then there's a griffin. There's a griffin in your party, yes. Wait, there are rumors in DA4 that they might show up. Mm. There are some rumors. I do not know if well, it's true. I've heard. I mean, if you read Last Flight, hmm. <laughs> also, uh, one of the endings for Trespasser, if you romance Blackwall and have him stay with the Wardens, he goes back to the Wardens and uh, the Inquisitor waits and waits and waits and, and when it ha um, what happens is they get back a um, the Warden Constable's badge and a griffin feather. Mmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That would be kind of cool. So now we have to choose his name. Or you have name. to decide on her name, her yes. Name. Yeah. Also, can 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 we uh, get more griffins? Can they procreate? Is they lay eggs? I think. Griffin. I feel like they lay eggs. They lay yeah. eggs, yeah. But um, I do believe there needs to be two to two to tango. <laughs> <laughs> not the sex education again, guys. Not sex education, please. I don't. <laughs> I mean, Tyrion, Tyrion, you took off your shirt first. Okay, <laughs> like that's true. <laughs> Tyrion did take off his shirt first, yes. You opened I Pandora's did. box, Tyrion. <laughs> I did. I unfortunately did take off my shirt first. So everyone luckily didn't do it on camera, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> if you did, Ethan's not a so method actor. <laughs> Ethan's not a method actor, yes. Well, well if that happened, Har Har if that happened, Hark would just say, how, how dare you? I need to now do pixels. <laughs> We need to put scars. We need to digitally put scars. <laughs> then. Uh, but other than the Griffin part, we got a lot of interesting moments with all the characters. Yeah. The biggest one probably um, among the whole game is between Russo and Daritham. I, I love how that scene turned. <laughs> yes! Oh so my let me god, take, I love it. Let me take something private. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, can we talk? <laughs> yeah. So what do you impact? Oh shit. <laughs> so not a, so so at least you know at least Tyrion took his own article of clothing off, but but you know we have Russo who forcibly took off somebody else's 
artificial yeah. clothing off. So that was quite an There's aggressive between... move there. Without Tommy. buying him a yeah. drink first, you know. <laughs> He just went for it. He just went for yeah. it. Like, Sometimes you just have to roll the dice in life. Literally. <laughs> yes. He saw what he needed to see, and then he's like, okay. <laughs> no, I can't wait until, like, uh, I it's A, fully revealed, and B, when Russo gets a close look at Daritham. <laughs> Well, to be honest, that was the thing that gave De that gave Russo pause, was because he saw that you had talked and knew this this uh, deserved further study rather than just outright getting violent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Also, can I say it's so much fun to play Daretham as a a not old but old man. <laughs> <laughs> It's like on Sahara, Parval, what, what, uh, what? <laughs> That's still Tevinter, right? The debate between like Pasha and the Tyrants saying, no, like Canari, did not, yes, Canari have taken over, but there's a war going on. Like, no, Canari are still taking over lands. Like, yeah, but there's still a war going on. No, we still have the land. And then I'm just like, what's a Kunari? <laughs> uh. And then also, uh, like I kept just going with Daretham, like it's kind of obvious, like there, there's obviously a lot of clues that he knows weird stuff, but all this stuff with the old gods and then, but my favorite is just to say, it ju it's just a griffin, guys. It's just, it's just, just, it's just it. a griffin. It's like all of us is going, oh, it's a griffin. Oh my God, it's a griffin. And, and then uh, Daretham going, it's just a griffin. It's what? like... This is Tuesday. Come on, guys. <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm slightly sad. Just slightly sad that we didn't get to role play more because I would have loved to interact with the other characters also, but we didn't get the chance, unfortunately. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get some time. Yeah. But I will say, uh, real quick for role play stuff. Um, since Daretham was uh near violently confronted <laughs> and <laughs> he knows that he is the jig is up at least a little bit um like with how antisocial he was before he's even more now so he ain't gonna talk to nobody unless he's approached uh um, leon uh wants to have a little quality time with uh pyrus uh as, as pyrus is also i love that almost i don't think anyone caught that when when pasha said Blood magic is evil. Daretham actually said, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Pasha caught it. <laughs> Pasha remembered this. I actually really like that whole scene where everyone was willing to like be like, you know, in this context, I guess then Pasha was like, nope, holding them a lot, holding the moral line. Yeah. Screw you. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It yeah, felt definitely. really bad about holding up the thing. I'm like. Yeah. I want to move the story along, but I'm like, Pasha's like, no. Yeah. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Every character is different. I mean, we, we all have our own, like, ideals towards, or, like, at least visions or perceptions on how is blood magic treated. So, and we all said that in a moment. So, and we had, mm -hmm. we tried to find another solution, which we kind of did. Yes, we still use blood, but we didn't use magic. We just <laughs> poured yeah. blood. But you know, if it if a Templar uh, did you know come by and then inquire specifically about this, it's close enough to blood magic to start a slaughter, at least. Yeah. Some Templar. Yeah. So then I would just say, "Hey Templar, did you use a phylactery to get here?" Ha. <laughs> <laughs> That'll totally stop the murder fest. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I mean, you got to kill yourself now because you use blood magic. So. Lol. Lol. Somewhere... As the Templars are stabbing you, you can be like, I have the moral high ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick question. I, I assume the answer is yes, but uh, does Leon have a phylactery in the Orlesian circle? Okay. So, uh, I... stealth mission to get the phylactery? Huh? Uh, uh? <laughs> I did love that the circle doesn't have to know Leon. <laughs> 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 that was like uh, the most awkward way to hide the book was how Leon <laughs> Oh yeah, no, he's 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 not got a lot of uh experience and he's 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 very young and 
would be interesting. Like he he would just pull out the book and like well to him it's like you know this whole like the blood magic book maybe to us just like a cookbook on the outside. <laughs> It would have probably yeah that's a good question does it appear to people differently because i know that you know like the, the symbols change but that would be interesting to see yeah, yeah. That's that's, you know i did love the mr bun deflection of any yeah. Other question. <laughs> yeah so now Tyrion is going to write in his memory in his mind okay better make a psychology check on leon just in case Talks oh no funny. <laughs> Leon, Leon's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Do we did like some of the uh, PC interactions we had here? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a good, good session for interactions. Mm -hmm. <laughs>